welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you how to create a plotograph for any image you have. What is a plotograph, you say? It is the action of creating an animation using one single static image, just as you can see over here. This tutorial will be through Photopy, which is a free program you can easily use through your browser without any need to download. Link is in the bio, by the way. So, what are we waiting for? Let's start animating. Previously on UE Design. Before we start animating the wanted part, which in my case is this orb, we'll have to work on separating it from the rest of the character. This means having the orb on a layer and the character on another one. In case you are having trouble figuring out how to separate your workpiece, I recommend you to check this video over here which will take you step by step what tools you will need to get started and secret hacks that could save you tons of time. When you are done, it is time to get into the animation part. With both the base and the orb on two different layers, I went ahead and created a new layer with a screen blending mood. Then, by using an airbrush tool, I painted over the eyes and the horns to give them the glow effect I want. Now, it is time to focus. Focus. I want you to open your eyes very wide and keep a track of your layers. Try and imagine that every layer we have over here is a frame on a timeline. Each layer is a new animation movement. Keep duplicating the orb layer and rotating it every time you do so until the orb gets back to its original placement. Next, go back to the base character Copy and paste it to match the exact number of orbs. Here, we have seven orbs. So, we will need to make six more copies from the base. As for the glow effect, three would be enough for me. Our next step is to merge layers. As I said earlier, each layer is a frame. So, by keeping each one separated, the program will understand the layers as an animation of its own. Grab each layer and merge it to one of the orb's movement. As for the glow effect, I will clip it to the layer I wanted it to appear on for the same reasoning. With everything in its place, it's time to convert these layers from normal ones into more suitable formats. Select all the layers other than the glow effect and go to layers, animation, make frame. And we are done. In case you want to view it or even export it, go to File, Export, and choose GIF or even MP4 if you like. When clicking the Export, you will get this small window. You can adjust the speed of the animation by making it either faster or slower. You also have an option to turn your work into a boomerang with auto loop. If you are satisfied with your work, you can export it. If not, you can easily close the window and go back to adjust the frame animation the way you wanted it to be. The knowledge is yours, so go and get all creative. With this, our tutorial has been concluded. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like the video and never feel shy to subscribe to my channel for more useful tutorials. You can even catch me live here on YouTube, streaming video games, drawing, and even designing. Also, feel free to check out my Buy Me Coffee page, which features tons of game designs you can download and use on your device. Hope you had a fun watch. Yui is out.